I'm, I'm from Africa and um, I've just recently returned to Sydney and in Africa we kind of say that if you're going to do anything with technology, you've got to actually use whatever's available at the lowest level of technology that is available and you have to make it easy and fun to use because otherwise you get very little uptake. Um, so I did a Facebook group for rural nurses to develop research proposal skills. So um, the problem really for Africa is that um, um, maternal and child health problems are on the increase. It's one of the Millennium Development Goals. Um, so one of the big focuses in the strategy has been to actually work with existing midwives and establish advanced midwifery training. You can just see the, the province that I was working in and you can see that this is just, there were four sites that we were working with and this is the average amount of travelling that they would have to do for one day to come to a lecture or to any classes that was given and it's quite spread across the province and the roads are not that good either. So um, that were the problems that we were looking at. So one of the things that we wanted to do is we wanted to work with advanced midwives, but we didn't want to take them out of their work areas because um, there's no point in taking them out of the areas and, do, and taking people away from the rural area. And secondly, um, they all were older women, they were already professional nurses, they were practicing, they were running these maternity clinics, and they didn't want to leave their homes to come 600 kilometers to come and study. So we established the post-nursing registration undergraduate degree in advanced midwifery for them and we used a blended learning model with video conference based education to the rural sites. Um, but one of our big challenges were that these nurses were isolated and in rural areas and in fact research was quite foreign to them and they were required to do a research project. So we set up this mobile phone research support Facebook group to support them to develop the two page concept paper. And the issue was in fact that in similar like you were saying earlier is that in fact um, there are lots of people, everybody in Africa has got mobile phones and in fact, um, we, what we did was we did a little survey and we looked at 57 students and 68 of them completed the brief survey. They have very, very low computer use. In fact, we have a learning management system, Moodle, which is open source. And in fact, nobody actually, I think three out of the 57 students actually managed to upload the assignments during the previous year. We were interested in social media because we thought that if we can get, only can get students to go to the learning management site as often as they go to their Facebooks, we might get some interaction and discussion. So the main thing that I had to do was I sent my rural, um, my project officer out to the rural sites and she actually physically um, downloaded the apps, Facebook onto their phones and enrolled them into Facebook because these women had an average age of about 48. Um, they didn't really have Facebook accounts so she created one. So what we then did is we ran this for four months and we had intensive participation and rich form of mentoring activities and in fact, it was really interesting because all 47 enrolled and even though all didn't participate, I can tell you I had lots of likes. So whenever, you know, because their phones are with them, it's immediate, they would answer and if they, they might not type back, but they would go like, like, like. So it was really very interesting to watch and what we are busy doing at the moment is trying to analyze all the interaction. And that's just some examples you can see, that's on the mobile phone. Um, um, and the kind of conversation that we have and I gave them links to various sites that they could access things and um, various support. And so at the moment what we are doing as well is supporting PhD students doing systematic reviews for part of their PhDs. And my last point about that was if you're just visiting our learning management sites as often as they go on Facebooks. Generally the students have loved this. They are all on Facebook, they're still chatting to me, they were telling me they're just writing exams at the moment. And in fact, um, I think for me the main challenge was the analysis of the data and I'll talk to people about um, how to look at the Facebook data today. Thank you.